Andrew, well, is your child being bullied at school? Did you know that you might be able to take some legal action for that? And here to tell us all about it is attorney David Ayler with Trial Tuesdays. How are you, David? Doing well. Good morning. Good to have you here. And it's apparently Casual Tuesday, so it is. We, we've allowed David to come casual today. <laughs> Funny, but this is not too funny of a topic though. And a lot of kids out there worrying about bullying and now their parents are worried about it. And the issue now becomes, is there anything that their parents can do to stop it? So we have a viewer question and, and um, Leslie says, my child is being bullied at her high school on social media. Is there anything that I can do legally to stop this from happening? Uh, is there anything that she can do? Well, I mean, there's a couple different things she can look at. Obviously, the social media is where you're hearing about most of the bullying. You're hearing about, you know, suicide related to things yeah. like that. They're being posted in social media. So it's usually going to be children that are a little bit older than, you know, you know, elementary school age, more uh -huh. middle school, high school. And the first thing that she can do, and it sounds like she may have already done it, is contact the school. Okay. Um, and also maybe contact the parents of uh, the child or the parent of the child that, um, you know, is posting these things, or if there's multiple children. But one thing that she could do legally is try to file um, some criminal charges based on harassment, you know, basically similar okay. to like phone harassment. Obviously, people are familiar with that sort of thing, maybe more than they are when it comes to the internet and that sort of, you know, issues that come up with like I said, social media and things like that. Yeah. But, you know, there's also civil remedies that she could take as well. Um, try to get a restraining order against this person and against this person contacting uh, her child. Um, so, you know, there's a number of different things, unfortunately, and I can see where this question would come from. It's hard to know really where to start. And, right. You know, not to be a broken record, but sometimes, you know, getting an attorney's help and getting an attorney's consult to really try to help lead through whether it be criminal remedies or trying to go at the people civilly may be their best bet. Right, because I was just going to say you make a good point. Maybe you should reach out to the child, the other child's parents if possible, but a lot of times that becomes an issue where there's a lot of animosity going on as well. So maybe exactly. you need somebody to help mediate the situation. You know, similar to uh, when a cease and desist letter that an attorney may send out to someone who's, uh, you know, slandering a business or that sort of thing. You, right. you could do something like that. And I think having an attorney or someone sort of in between a mediator mm -hmm. uh, would help it, because it's uncomfortable to try to contact those other parents, almost as if you're, you know, standing up for your child, you know, and having to go with their parents. Okay, let's say, for instance, you've gone through the school, you've gone through the parents and it's still happening. Is there a way that maybe they can get in touch with an attorney and that attorney maybe can send a formal letter themselves and then the parents can just be out of it? Absolutely. I mean, the issue with the school is they're going to be limited to what they're able to do if the actions are being taken place outside of school. Of course, on the internet, right. there's not anything that's going on within the school. They may be able to talk to the students, but much more than that, they're going to be very limited. But in dealing with the parents and dealing with the actual person, yes, a lawyer would be able to put that formal letter in place and say that, you know, you could face civil remedies or, you know, various uh, criminal charges. And that would be something that you would want to send directly directly to the parent because again the child's going to be a minor. So you don't have to actually have proof that this is what's happening. Maybe this could be even a proactive measure if your child is telling you look it keeps happening and I don't know what else to do about it. Absolutely and if you do have that proof that's when you can really go and look at criminal charges to be filed but at a minimum if, if something keeps happening mm -hmm. um, you know and you want to contact an attorney you, you want to make sure that your child is at least somewhat clear as to who's doing it and maybe why they're doing it. You don't right. want to just, you know, send out letters to the potential people that are harassing them. But usually, you know, these people will sign on as, the, you know, who they are and they kind of show that. You know, these are, yeah. again, children, so they're not making these actions very wisely. Yeah, and unfortunately, a very situa serious situation happening in all of our schools. So want to make sure if your child does say something like that to you, maybe reach out to an attorney and just get some counsel. Absolutely. That way you'll have more information. Absolutely, because a lot of times parents just don't know what the best step to, is, and then they know they want to do something, and then it really just kind of continues to get bigger and bigger. There you go. All right, well, David Ayo, thank you so very much for weighing in. We do appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, well, we have more Low Country Live coming up right after the break. Next, we've got plenty of must-know homeowners tips with HDTV's Terry Haas. Stay with us. Thank you.